Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be upgrading RAM on Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3 from 8GB to 16GB. So recently I have ordered crucial RAM from Amazon uh, which is of 8GB with the speed of 3200MHz. So let's quickly install this RAM on the Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3 and check whether we get any difference in the performance. So without wasting much of the time, let's quickly get into the video. So here in the task manager, you can see that my memory is of 8 gigs and out of that 8 gigs, 4.2 GB is already occupied by the system. So here in the detail, you can see that my frequency speed is of 2933 and the slot used is of 1 and one slot 1 is empty and slot 2 has 8 gigs of RAM with 2933 megahertz of speed. Now without performing any task, the RAM occupied is of 54%. So we will quickly open a browser and check how much of the RAM will be occupied when we surf on the uh, browser. If we surf in one tab, then the maximum RAM that will be occupied will be up to 60% of your RAM. In the same way, if you open the multiple of tabs, uh, like around 8 tabs, then almost 75% of the RAM will be occupied. When we surf on YouTube or when we watch videos in YouTube, almost 65-68% uh, to 68 of our RAM will be occupied. In the case of Adobe Premiere Pro video editing, uh, while rendering or while editing, this software uh, consumes a lot of RAM and needs up to 16 GB or more. So when you have 8 gigs of RAM, uh, almost it will occupy up to 90% of the RAM as you can see on the screen and it's also utilizing up to 70% of the VRAM. That means it's almost using up to 10 to 11 GB of RAM. So if your uh, primary consideration of the laptop is for video editing or 3D rendering then definitely consider updating your RAM. So what I suggest you guys is uh, while you are uh, upgrading your RAM or uh, plugging uh, another stick of RAM in your uh, uh, laptop before doing that go to the Lenovo Vintage and go to the hardware scan and scan the hardware components there you can see whether if there is any error in the hardware. It's good to uh, do this uh, scanning before upgrading the RAM because we'll have the confirmation that all our uh, components, hardware components are working fine and does not have any error. So basically uh, in this video, I have uh, fast forwarded this scanning. Uh, in your case, it will take a couple of minutes. So don't worry about it. It may take around eight to 10 minutes uh, to scan all the components and give you the final result code. Once you are done with the scanning, uh, you get the confirmation that uh, all your components have uh, passed their test and uh, they are working fine. And now you are good to upgrade your RAM. Let's quickly upgrade the RAM now. This is the RAM which I have ordered from Amazon. It's 8 gigs of uh, crucial RAM with a speed of 3200 MHz. I have purchased this RAM for uh, uh, 3900 rupees. While purchasing your RAM, Please make sure that you are purchasing the RAM which has the clock speed more than uh, 2933 because already inbuilt one is 2933. If you purchase any RAM that is less than 2933 then definitely your uh, RAM speed will be downgraded to the uh, newer one that is uh, that may be a, uh, that may be 2666 or uh, 2400 megahertz. So make sure to get better performance, you upgrade it up to uh, 2933 or 3200 MHz. I will add this purchase link of this RAM in the description. You can refer if you want to purchase this is same RAM. So many were asking me which cooling pad I am using. This is the cooling pad which I am using. It's a, it comes with the two fans of 1000 RPM. If you guys want to know more about this cooling pad, let me know in the comment below. I will make a separate video on it. Let's quickly unscrew and open the back panel. There are totally uh, 10 screws present on the back panel. So let's quickly open it.
We always give you one last try. Yeah, you've watched me break a thousand times. Now I'm on the nose, kissing you in the show. You play me well, but then you let go. Once you open the back panel, you can see that there are two slots of RAM. One slot is empty and one slot is already provided by Lenovo. That RAM is of SK Hynix 8 gigs, 2933 MHz of speed. Now just take the new RAM that you have purchased. It's just like uh, installing a memory card. Uh, just place it properly on the pattern that is given on the slot. Just place it and press it. That's it, you're good to go. You have upgraded your laptop from 8 gigs to 16 gigs. Before closing the back panel, you can have the close view of uh, the RAM that we have installed right now and all the other uh, hardware components that we see in the back panel. RAM upgradation is a, a simple process as uh, we can say is just we can do it from the home without any uh, consultant of the service but make sure that you are installing it properly and you are not harming any of your uh, hardware components so that you avoid your uh, warranty. If you install it uh, without uh, harming any hardware components then definitely your warranty will be valid. So now we have covered the back panel and we have not screwed it. Now let's quickly uh, check the task manager what frequency speed are we getting after installing 3200 MHz of RAM. So here in the memory tab you can see that uh, total RAM that is available is of uh, 16 gigs and out of that 4 gigs is already occupied by the system and the speed that we have got is 2933 MHz and slot used are 2 of 2 that is both the slots have been used so available RAM that we are getting is uh, to 12 gigs of free RAM so now here you can see that uh, our total RAM occupied is only 24% before it was uh, going up to 60, 65, 70% as I said before whenever we install two uh, RAM sticks with different uh, frequency speed we get the frequency that is least sp speed means if we are installing two uh, sticks one with uh, 2400 MHz and one with uh, 3200 MHz then definitely we will be getting 2400 itself so make sure uh, to purchase a proper uh, frequency speed RAM. Now as we saw in task manager that uh, our uh, RAM frequency is uh, now 2933 MHz but uh, we could not see that whether it's working on single or dual channel. So you can download this uh, CPU Z software to see whether your uh, memory or RAM is working in dual channel or single channel. So here in uh, SPD tab now you can see that slot 1 is occupied by crucial RAM 3200 and in slot 2 we have SK Hynix here we won't get uh, the details of uh, single channel and dual channel so to check whether it's working on single or dual channel we need to go to the memory tab and here you can see that uh, our channel is dual Dual in the sense uh, we get double bandwidth for the RAM uh, so read and write speed of the RAM will be simultaneously increased. So with dual channel we get a better performance than 16 GB of single channel. Now let's quickly open uh, Lenovo Vintage and scan the hardware paths. So let's quickly scan all the components and check whether our uh, new memory is working fine. When here physical memory test will be going on. You can see that uh, RAM occupied will be up to 85 to 90 percent. So once the scanning is done, you get the confirmation that uh, your new RAM and the existing RAM are working totally fine and uh, have been tuned properly. So without any worries, you can continue using your laptop with a high performance. That's it for this video guys. Hope you have liked this video and found this video informative. If you have found this video informative, please do hit a like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading a separate performance test after doing this RAM upgradation. I will test it with various games and Adobe Premiere Pro. So stay tuned for that video also. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye.